talk about work sharing display. So this is only going to work in your collaborative models. I've already got that set up right now. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, if you want to, uh, I can create a video in the future for it, but um, I'm just going to stick with this. And uh, as you see, I have a project open. I've just got a couple walls drawn in a plan view. Um, I'm going to come down here and uh, right here is work sharing display. Um, it's off right now. Uh, this will only pop up if you're in a work sharing project. Uh, I think I have one. Let's see. So as you see, that button isn't there. And this project hasn't been saved down and turned into a collaborative model. So I'll switch back. Um, I'm going to come down. I'm going to turn it on. And to turn it on, so there's off, and then there's four different settings. So checkout status, owners, model updates, work sets. Checkout status is who owns the stuff. You can it highlights in green. Come in here. You can hover over it, and it gives you a bit more information. If we go back into it, come up here to work sh sharing display settings. I can tell, and here's the four different ones. Tell uh, what color is associated with what. Uh, for example, this one's associated with me. Green is, and then by others, red, not owned, blue. Owners, same thing. Depending on how many owners, so how many other people are working in the project, then this up here will update. Come over here to model updates, same thing. Uh, um, except for this is for uh, updates and, and uh, uh, when items are being deleted or removed or synced and whatnot. You can see that quickly. Come over here to work sets and it shows you what items are on what work set. <laughs> so I'm going to exit out of this. So a lot of these are going to be the same because I'm the only one in this. But I come down here to work sets and so everything's green for, for shared levels or for, uh, yeah, shared levels and grids. So I'm going to switch this to um, work set one. And you can see it's purple now. And everything I draw, since I'm on work set one, it draws in a purple. So I can quickly look at it and see what is what and what is on what work set. So it might be nice if uh, you have a, a, a specific uh, plan drawing that only has specific elements that are supposed to be on there or the elements that are supposed to be on there are supposed to be a specific work set then you can hurry up and check this and see exactly where at uh, you may have things now on that work set so if I come back and do work share I'm going to press cancel uh, I can change the color so if I want to change it to red, I just switch it to red, and then it updates in there. So that's pretty much how it works. There's not much to it. It's pretty simple, and it's pretty helpful as well. So I recommend checking it out, playing around, seeing if uh, you can do any uh, cool workflows with it. Uh, let me know if this video helps. Um, hopefully you learned something. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to do videos on. And uh, thanks a lot for for watching, like, share, comment, uh, thanks.